Good morning, folks. Looking at the RSOE, the volcanic activity near the Caribbean and Cocos Plate region is continuing. This time, just north of that region, we had uh, the Popoqueta Septal volcano uh, erupt yesterday. Folks, we've had un unusually warm weather in the United States, and it's been just the opposite on the other side of the world. Snowstorm after snowstorm in Europe and cold wave after cold wave in India. We also had a 6.2 earthquake yesterday uh, just north of New Zealand and there's some flooding uh, going on in the northern part of Australia. Folks, the violence in Syria is really, really getting bad. Uh, it's getting worse all the time. It's getting so bad that the watchdog group that is there uh, to try to keep an eye on all the violence feels that they can no longer safely do their jobs. Also, the Russians are, are making a lot of calls. You've heard that they've been saying, hey, uh, Harp knocked out the Phobos grunt. They're really calling for uh, increased efforts in space. And speaking of space, uh, NASA is saying that uh, the Goddard Space Flight uh, Center uh, specifically is saying that they're about to get a boost in their ability to track CMEs and other kind of space weather, saying that there are a lot of imp uh, imperfections that right now lead uh, the evolution uh, forecasts uh, not to reflect reality. Now, if this seems familiar to you, it's because we've been saying this for a very long time. We're not the only ones. You, when uh, you use their imperfect system, you get things like this. You see a CME here that looks like it's completely going to miss Earth over on the side that it ejected, but when you look at the actual satellite data, you can see that part of it is actually going to miss to the left, despite the fact that uh, it came out of the top right of the sun. You know, we are still in a uh, solar radiation storm from the protons that hit us from that eruption. Uh, so folks, uh, somewhat of good news there. Apparently they're going to be doing a bit better uh, tracking these things. Uh, luckily last night we didn't have any real significant space weather. Uh, no big coronal holes pointed right at us and uh, no big CMEs or flares. That's the news folks. Be safe.